Hey everybody, this is Mr. Suede coming at you one more time, helping my brother out, my older brother, Mr. Wade. You know, he's too busy running the library, evidently, to answer your questions, to show you how to do stuff. And, you know, it's today that he's asked me to help show students how to do something. You know, I'm not answering a question today. I'm showing you how to do something. And he's just too busy doing I said, well, bro I guess but man then he goes and says okay if you're gonna do it and I'd already said yes and I'm a man of my word you know that about me right he said uh, the thing is uh, you, you gotta dress up for these tutorials I mean you gotta you gotta wear a nice shirt you gotta wear a, a tie and I said well I don't I don't do that that's your thing bro not me but he said no you got to so here I am. I'm very uncomfortable. This is just not my group. But anyway, I'm here helping out. And he's calling this thing to pay tutorials. I have no clue what that's about. But I'm, I'm going to find out. Anyway, what we're talking about today is how to do one of the most basic things in the library. Suppose you want something. Suppose you, you just want a book. And you know the book. You know the title. You know the author. You just want to find it. Well, I mean, you could go ask for help in the library. That's always an option. But suppose you want to do it yourself. I want to show you how to do it yourself and how to do it so simply. It's, it's crazy. It'll blow your mind how simple it is. My brother, uh, the librarian, he calls it the combo search. And that just, that just means, you know, there's a combination of a couple of things you got to keep in mind every time you search. So I'm going to show you here on the screen how to do this kind of search, okay? And I'm, I'm actually starting this search right now. You're looking at the library's home page, okay, right now. You see it? It's got this long Google-like search box right in the middle. It's just waiting for something. And here's the something. Okay, suppose you wanted to find this book called The Book of Virtues by some guy named Bennett. Now, everyone's always looking for this book. I don't know what the big deal is about this book, but The Book of Virtues by Bennett. Okay, now, there are some things you know about the book. You know uh, about the title, and you know that in that title, there are a couple of good words, like book and virtues. I'm going to type in one of those two words, not book. That's kind of, that's like too generic. But what about virtues? And now I'm going to type in the last name of the author, which I happen to know, because my teacher or whoever said, go get this book by Bennett. I'm going to type in the dude's last name, Bennett. Look what I've typed here. Two whole words. I'm not typing out the whole title, the book of the, whatever. I'm not typing out the whole name of the author. I'm just typing in one word from the title, Virtues. One last name of the author, Bennett. And I'm going to hit search. I'm just going to show you how simple this is. You know, that took two seconds to figure out. And look, right at the top of my list of a thousand plus things is the Book of Virtues, a treasury of great moral stories. It just sounds perfect for my brother. Anyway, that was easy. That's the combo search in action. Let's go back and do one more. Okay, suppose you're not interested in kind of like a, a book for a class, but you're just wanting to know uh, if the library has a book, uh, uh, a Harry Potter book. You know, and so, you know, uh, you know, one of the one of the books is called uh, something something prisoner of Azkaban or something like that. Well, we don't have to worry about Azkaban. I don't even know how to spell that. But suppose you know that in that title, uh, there's a word that you can spell prisoner. Don't ask me how I know how to spell that. But anyway, prisoner. And we know everybody knows who wrote that book. Rowling, J.K. Rowling, and I think her last name is spelled just like this. I'm typing that in here. I'm just all I've typed. Two words, prisoner and Rowling, and we're going to hit search, okay? How long did that take to set up? That combo search, two seconds. And re here we go, uh, 300 some odd things right at the top. Harry Potter and the pris Prisoner of Azkaban, A-Z-K-A-B-A. -A -A. I would have never spelled that properly. Anyway, some people ask, 
when they see stuff like this, well, what, what if I, I want the movie? I don't care about the book. I'm not a reader. I just want to watch the movie and be done with it. Well, over here on the left, now you could browse and scroll until you get it like it's number four here, but what if you just want to skip all that? What if there are like a ton of things here? You could go over to the left-hand side. See over here? And there, there are some options here. Like this book, print book, etc. And you could click on DVD video. As soon as you click on one of those little boxes, everything goes away except for just what you click. DVD video. Notice how easy that was. And, and just think, the next time you need something, book, a video, could be a board game, as long as you know a couple of words from the title, just string a couple together, okay? And when you have an author of something, go ahead and throw that in there. Two, three words max, and find out real quick, yes, the library has it, or no, the library doesn't. And by the way, if it's ever a no, go up to a librarian and say, hey man, what's up? Where's this book? Where's this movie? Can we get it? And most of the time, believe it or not, according to what my brother says, the answer is yes. Isn't that cool? Anyway, you've just seen the combo search in action. It's the quickest, most accurate, efficient way to search for stuff here at the FHU Library. I hope you found that helpful. I plan to be back soon with more tutorials. And for now though, I'm signing out. This is Mr. Wade, Swade, sorry, saying goodbye. Peace out.